The most distant human-made object in space today is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, a remarkable feat of engineering and exploration that has broken every conceivable boundary. Voyager 1, which was launched way back in 1977, has crossed into interstellar space, venturing farther from Earth than any other human-made object in history. Just imagine for a moment, a spacecraft launched 45 years ago, and it is still sending back invaluable data from areas in the cosmos that were thought to be unreachable. This is the astonishing reality of a bold NASA mission, one that continues to redefine the very essence of space exploration. But what's even more awe-inspiring is the fact that this spacecraft, which was never meant to last this long, is not only billions of miles from its launch point, but it is still transmitting scientific data back to Earth. And get this, it's doing so with technology that's older than a cassette player. The original mission, which was meant to last just four years, has turned into an epic journey that continues to surprise and astound us. And if you think that's incredible, wait until you hear about the mind-blowing discovery Voyager 1 has just made, one that's sent shockwaves through the scientific community and captured the attention of people all over the world. What could this groundbreaking find be? And what could it mean for us, here on Earth? To understand the magnitude of Voyager 1's mission, let's step back in time to an era when two of the most incredible space missions in history were born. It was thanks to the brilliant work of NASA engineer Gary Flandro in the late 1970s that the course for Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, was plotted, a path that would take them on a journey through our solar system, past the giant gas planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What Flandro discovered was a rare alignment of these planets, which would offer a unique opportunity for spacecraft to slingshot around them using their gravitational fields as cosmic highways. Using nothing more than a pencil, paper, and 20th century engineering tools, Flandro calculated that this alignment would create a sort of celestial conveyor belt in space. This alignment would allow a spacecraft to gain speed by essentially being tugged along by the gravitational pull of the planets, like a cosmic rope pulling a sled. And here's the kicker, this rare alignment of the gas giants only happens once every 176 years. NASA didn't waste a second when they realized what they had in front of them. Within just 15 days of each other, they launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, into the vastness of space in the summer of 1977. Little did they know that these twin spacecraft would not only accomplish the mission they were designed for but would go on to break all records for the longest space missions ever attempted. More than 45 years after their launch, both Voyager spacecraft are still operational, continuing to send valuable scientific data from the very edge of our solar system, and beyond. Voyager 1 and 2 are now the farthest human-made objects in existence. They've traveled far past the original mission parameters, venturing into deep space and continuing to send back data that's rewriting the history books. Their original mission was only supposed to last four years, but these interstellar pioneers have exceeded all expectations, consistently sending back groundbreaking information about the farthest reaches of the solar system. In their early years, these spacecraft provided humanity with stunning close-up images of Jupiter's moons and Saturn's rings, revealing dynamic, active worlds far more intricate than we had imagined. One of the most mind-blowing discoveries came from Voyager 2 when it became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. This historic feat made Voyager 2 the only probe to have ever visited these distant, mysterious planets, revealing astonishing insights into their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and their bizarrely tilted axes. These spacecraft are truly trailblazers, and the story of their journey continues to amaze us. Despite their small size, each roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, the Voyagers have traveled farther than any spacecraft before them, sending back data from beyond the reach of the Sun's gravitational pull. Their journey began with a gravity assist from Venus, a maneuver never attempted by any spacecraft before. After that, 
They passed through Mercury's orbit, took a ten times longer journey to Jupiter, and crossed the dangerous asteroid belt, navigating obstacles no one thought possible. These spacecraft achieved all of this with onboard computers that had only 69 kilobytes of memory, less than the storage of a modern digital photograph. To put that in perspective, your smartphone today has thousands of times more memory than the Voyager spacecraft. With such limited technology, Voyager's onboard computers had to rely on their own intelligence to manage the complexities of their interstellar journey. The data collected by their instruments was stored on 8-track tape recorders and transmitted back to Earth using just 23 watts of power, about the same amount as a light bulb. Even as Voyager 1 and 2 continue their journey through the vast emptiness of space, they face new challenges. The farther they travel, the longer it takes for their signals to reach Earth. The distances between us and the spacecraft grow every day, with each signal traveling for more than 16 hours to reach Earth. Despite this, the spacecraft have continued to surpass every expectation, sending back invaluable data about the cosmos. One of the most significant milestones came when Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary marking the end of our solar system and the beginning of interstellar space. For years, scientists had been waiting for this moment, expecting to see a sharp increase in cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling through space at nearly the speed of light. When Voyager 1 finally crossed this boundary on August 25, 2012, it did detect a change in plasma density, but something surprising occurred, there was no immediate change in the magnetic field. The scientists who were closely monitoring this transition were baffled. They had expected a dramatic shift in the magnetic field as the spacecraft moved from the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere, into the vast interstellar medium, where the magnetic field is influenced by nearby stars. But the magnetic field remained largely unchanged, which led to an intense debate among experts, what does this tell us about the nature of interstellar space and how the solar system interacts with the rest of the galaxy? Voyager 1's entry into interstellar space has given us our first direct window into this uncharted territory, but it has raised more questions than answers. Scientists speculated that the magnetic field in interstellar space might be more aligned with the solar field than previously imagined, creating a smooth transition rather than an abrupt shift. This could suggest that the forces shaping our solar neighborhood are far more complex than we once thought. As Voyager 1 travels farther, it continues to collect data that challenges our previous understanding of the universe. One of the most fascinating discoveries has been the detection of plasma clouds in interstellar space. These clouds, composed of ionized gases, vary greatly in density, temperature, and energy levels. Some regions are dense and hot, while others are unexpectedly cold and sparse. These clouds could contain remnants of ancient supernovae, offering tantalizing clues about the violent history of our galaxy. In just a short period, Voyager 1 has revealed a surprising new picture of interstellar space, one that's far from the empty, uniform void we once imagined. Instead, it's a dynamic, ever-changing environment, filled with pockets of energy and matter, each telling a unique story of the universe's past. The mission of Voyager 1 and 2 is a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the boundless curiosity that drives our quest for knowledge. These probes have traveled farther than any spacecraft before them, and the data they continue to send back is reshaping our understanding of the cosmos in ways we never thought possible. The mysteries of interstellar space are just beginning to unfold, and as Voyager 1 and 2 continue their journeys through the unknown, they offer us a glimpse into the vast, mysterious universe beyond our solar system. What lies ahead for these intrepid explorers? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the journey of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 has already made history. If you're as fascinated by this journey as we are, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and stay tuned as we continue to follow the Voyager missions and explore the most distant reaches of our universe.